Hello everyone, so this would be Kilcray Castle in the distance there you can see. But now we're actually going through here into the Kilcray uh, Friary isn't it? So you got there's some information for everyone now. 1465 to 2015. This cross was erected in October 2015 to commemorate the 550th anniversary of the founding of this abbey. It replaces an oak cross which stood at the entrance until 1880. Unveiled by Donald O'Flynn, blessed by Liam O'Hickey, PP, donated and made by Neil O'Mahony. The Cung Glory de August Honora Nyaherin. Something to do with Ireland. <laughs> That's this one just there now. It's been replaced there. So now we're going to come up here and we'll take a look. What? You thought it was like a... <laughs> I like the entrance to this place, look. All the trees on each side. The path going down. <coughs> so I am recording this one. So there's the old man. If Mahal Kita watches this, Daddy Vampire, but not so much Daddy Vampire anymore. <laughs> Daddy Gummy. <laughs> you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a gummy vampire. You're walking home. You're walking home. <laughs> <sighs> it looks lovely, and it's actually open to the public as well, which is fantastic for everyone. And like that's the view you get coming around here. It's a lovely little area coming in. I look at a bit more history here as well. Do you hear me breathing heavy? You got a sharp pain in my chest today. Not good, but yeah. There you go. Minister Shilshir, Kilker Friary. So go down it slowly. Showing you there, the Church of Cree, Kilcree. It was attacked. Oh Jesus! Kilcree was attacked several times by the English. Fucking black and tans. Um, Kilcree was attacked several times by the English following the suppression of the monasteries during the 16th century in 1650 as well. It was occupied by the Cromwellian soldiers. The connection of the Franciscans with the monastery continued, however, until the 19th century. Wow! See so how Black and Hands had us here as well. Crazy! So, there we go now. So this is some of the Abbey here. I will be taking some pictures as well. And you can actually walk all the way around the Abbey here as well, which is lovely. They've done a good job in keeping it going. Coming in, you can hear all the birds. <laughs> so it looks like they have lights up everywhere as well, so it might be lit up during the night, which is a pretty cool thing as well. Could be a little, um, uh, could be air. Or You can see some, you can see how old some of these are. <laughs> so hey, we got visitors, come out, say hello, see if they bought us a parade. <laughs> Rest in peace. That was 
would have showed you where everything would have been here. Took a happy ground plan. But I don't know if that was done by someone else, but unfortunately if it was. How are you? Hi, nice. This will be the tomb of Arthur O'Leary. 1747, 1731. Age 26. Wow. 1747 was born. That's the August Maroon. Looks like a thirty-five year ago. It's a great tattoo. It's what I come. It's got a bit of Gaelic. Maybe go there, but then. So it's definitely more well kept here than the other places we've been to, which is good to see that people are respecting it and keeping it nice and clean. Like a little monkey, what is she up there? See? Along there. At least it's not like Tim Lee Gabby and Tim Lee Gabby you're, you're banging your head off everything when you go. <laughs> Alright, this is really, really well kept with a lovely condition around here. 1885, rest in peace. Directed in honor of the Reverend Dennis Murphy, Mind your noggin. You left that mind your head coming in here, we're obviously. They're probably one of these here. There's a nest there, see? Can't see anything in the nest. I'm zoomed right into the nest there, see? Take a nah. <laughs> Take a coil out when I zoomed in up. <laughs> there you go, that was right in on that nest up there you could see.
be real beaks on these guys. Oh, I see you looking at me, looking at you. <laughs> yeah, may they all rest in pieces. A lot of history here. Place it there. Again, this is Kilker um, Friary, and it's right next to the castle as well. Just a little walk. Yeah, can go down there as well. This, uh, Can see what it says in it because it's, it's got to be a very old one that one. And there's a memorial up there, is a memory one from 1465 to 1965. Some of the markings on here as well, as you can see. Ninety-seven. Let me try and see if I can get a zoom in on these areas here. Now we're going to come and take a wee peek through here, see? Fusion of blood. It's a shame there was a statue there by the look of it, just smashed them, unfortunately. That's the view of the side there as well from it. some of these places take a quick feed just um 
can see there's, see there's like a wooden stairs going up here. It's a, you can see it is locked. It's probably going up there. There's we'll see. Come along here now. Just mind the head as you come by through here as well. Um, I see it looks like there's a grave there. I don't want to walk through there. It looks like there's one right there going out through, and I don't really want to walk up that way. Out of respect, so I come out through here and I go down that way. 17, 19. Right? Holy moly. Do you bear with me? Sorry about that. My chest isn't very good at all. So this is another gated area here. So it's like it's a stairs going up as well. So that's gated there. Yeah. Another little part here. It's definitely a nice looking place it would have been in it. There's another place up there that's locked. little area out here you can go it's locked as well so it's locked there too okay so let's go out again and I'll try and get a nice shot of it from outside so that's the Kilkerry Kilkerry Friary slash Abbey remains. Cemetery dating back a very old as you can see. I'm gonna get a nice see if I can zoom in on the bee there. I'm still recording here, so I've got to zoom in on a bit. <laughs> so, I got this way now. There's another area here, as you can see, is locked there. On the other side, some steps going up. And another, probably holy water well. And it's going up across there, see? See if I can see anything in that in that one there. What a focus, there we go. No, I can't see anything in the in the nest. But anyway. This was Kilcurry Abbey slash Friary. 
And the information, I'll give you a quick bit of information here before the time it goes to This is the tomb of Arthur O'Leary. As it says here. Um, 1747-1773 Arthur O'Leary's tomb in Kilcare Friary bears the following inscription. Um, so it even tells you the inscription that was on it as well. Um, Lo Arthur Leary, generous, handsome, brave, slain in his humble lies, in his in his bloom lies, in his humble grave, died May fourth, seventeen seventy three, aged twenty six years only. Arthur Leary was born at Raleigh near McCroom in seventeen forty seven. He was a member of the Frostrous Catholic family, which, despite the penal laws, managed to retain extensive land holdings between McCroom and Goganbarra. Denied educational and career opportunities at home, or care, sorry, opportunities at home because of the penal laws, Arthur, like many Catholic young men of good family, went abroad where he served as a captain in the Hungarian Hussars. Well, Arthur married Evelyn Dumpf Ne Canel, aunt of the liberated Daniel O'Connell, in 1767 on his return from service abroad. He was killed. In 1773, at Garing, where is that? Sorry, near Macaroon by soldiers accompanying a local magistrate, Abraham Morris, also known as Morrison of Hangover Hall, allegedly for refusing to sell his horse to Morris for five pound, a legal technicality designed to prevent Catholics owning horses fit for military service. Wow! Well, in fact, his death was the accumulation of a bitter and personal feud between the two men. Caused by Art's resertive behaviour. Give me one second. Art's. Wow, determination to keep the penal laws like that's crazy. Caused by Art's assertive behaviour and Morris's determination to keep the penal laws alive, Morris had to stand trial for murder but was acquitted. A celebrated lament in Irish attributed to Evelyn Dumpf, Canead uh, Art. In Le Gehir, is an emotionally powerful description of a reaction to his death. The tragic appeal of the poem has earned its lasting place in Irish literature and ensured that Arthur O'Leary will not be forgotten. The following passage of the laminate appears to have been sung by Evelyn at Art's burial in Kilcray. Oh, bless. So, my love of my beloved, the corn sacks are standing, your yellow cow's milking, your grief upon my heart, all monster couldn't cure, nor the smiths of Orlean, na the fion, till art of Loch Gear comes my grief will not disperse. But cram my heart's core, shut firmly in like a trunk locked up when the key is lost. Well, such a shame. 26 years old as well. May you rest in peace. I've had this kind of respect there, wouldn't you? Yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's been a bit of something. Okay, so this was Kilcray, Friary, slash Abbey. Um, I'm going to go outside quickly to show another view from there, and then we'll make our way over to the castle. Let's see how that is. So you can see the castle in the distance, this is where we're going to go now, so I'll do a different video for that one, just there. So we're going to go over there now in a sec. So I'll take some pictures of the friary in a second. That was Kid Cray Friary. I'll show you here the name of it. So if anyone's ever around, just visit this place here. Much respect all, take care, stay safe, keep happy, and please do like, subscribe, please do like and subscribe, take care all. Hey everyone, Chris here, hope you all enjoyed the video, here's some photos I took uh, from the Kilcare Friary slash Abbey, um, it's a lovely place to get to, It's uh, the roads are pretty safe there as well and pretty easy, if you're going towards Ballincollig, there's a turning coming up on the right, and it'll tell you the Kilcare Abbey 
and you can just um, make your way along that road and there's plenty of space there I think about five cars and um, there's plenty of space further up as well but um, here's an Irish blessing for everyone and I uh, hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe to the videos it would mean a lot thank you